tell everybody, no matter where I go, you gotta know the fads, the fashions, the trends, and the slang if you're involved with middle school kids. Let me repeat that. You gotta know the fads, the fashions, the trends, and the slang. You don't believe me? How many of you, you can call the word, and you don't know if it's appropriate or not? And you do this, it's like, well, word. <laughs> Word to your mother. <laughs> so here's what you have to do. Go to the Adolescent Resource Center. Now, I know what you're thinking. What is the Adolescent Resource Center? No, it's not the mall. It's not anything. It's, it's MTV or BET. It'll tell you everything you need to know about middle school kids. But it gets harder as we get older. You're absolutely right. Have you ever made a reference, a pop culture reference in class, and middle school kids are like this? Mr. Bergmar, how do you know that? And you're like, well, every once in a while this rock gets lifted, and I crawl out, and I go, hello world, and then I crawl back in. They have no idea that we what? Go to the grocery store? That we see movies? That we listen to the radio? And no matter how young you are, you're still over 40. Anytime that we talk about teaming, it's all about kids, curriculum, and professional development. Let me repeat that. The only thing I want you to remember is teaming is about kids, curriculum, and professional development. If I see you five years from now and you come up and say, you came to Dodge City, and, and I say, what did I do? And you say, teaming, and I go, what's the mantra of teaming? You're gonna say, kids, curriculum, professional development. Every so here's your first activity to me. As a team, kids, curriculum. what are those five to seven consistency issues that we need to work on. By the way, I know what you're thinking. Jack, this has been great. Why didn't you come in at the beginning of the year so we could have started this at the beginning of the year? Now we can't start it because we're like, how many days into school? Listen to me. They are middle school kids. You can walk in tomorrow, okay? You can walk in at any day and say, I told you all, all year, that you're not to sit on the top of the desk. And they'll go, okay. <laughs> there might be one of them that goes, I have the syllabus that it's not in. Trust me, middle school kids are resilient. They will change at a drop of a hat, okay? So as a team, and here's your time frame, you have 20 minutes, and in that 20 minutes, you need to take your first little break, and you need to come up with five to seven consistency issues that you either want to talk about or try to solve in the next few minutes. How many of you have a kid that's driving you nuts? Give me the name of a kid, first name that's driving you nuts right now. I know it's still early in the year. There's always one or two. Are you not a good example? Do you love all children? Are you dedicated? Anybody <laughs> <laughs> have one that says thank you? Mark. Mark. Okay, now, some of you don't have Mark, am I right? You're going, who's Mark? I don't care. So she came into this team meeting and said, I need to talk about Mark. 60% of you are going to go, I don't know who Mark is. I don't care who Mark is until I have to have Mark or see Mark. <laughs> you, know what, you know what broke down the communication here? Is you use the name. Never use a name if you really want teachers to solve a problem. The problem is we used a name. Okay, name this kid again? Mark. Now, let's reverse the strategy. Tell me one thing that Mark does or does not do. He talks when I'm talking. <gasps> Hold on. <laughs> do any of you have a kid that talks while you're talking? Oh my God! Is the kid's name Mark? <laughs> no! Wow! What else does Mark do? He gets out of his seat. Oh, wait a minute! Do any of you have a kid that gets out of their seat for no reason? Wow! Who else? What does he do? Um, he doesn't turn his assignment. He doesn't do work! <laughs> wait a minute! Anyone here got a kid that doesn't do work? Wow! We can solve that problem. But if I say Mark, forget it. We're done. Am I right? Go to the issue, not the kid. At the end of it, if you want to go, oh, by the way, I was talking about Mark, then you can all go, oh, I knew it. I knew who that too. Now, the hard part is, is I can't teach you to be funny. I know it's something.
actually looking at some of you. Some of you are not funny. I mean, it's true. <laughs> but being able to laugh every day is an okay thing. I'm a firm believer in this. You should be a little emotionally unstable in front of middle school kids. Okay? Next time middle school kids aren't listening to you, do this. Go to the chocolate. Before you freak out, I don't do the nails. I do this. Oh, chocolate. You'll listen to me. <laughs> I love you, chocolate. Well, yes, I do. And this is your case. Is he talking to the chocolate? Shh, must be important. What we have found is when you talk to a man, an object, middle school kids.